all right so hi everyone this is joet and in this video i'm going to walk you through on how you can connect google meet or your google calendar with go high level so that when someone book within your calendars in go high level it will automatically send um, them a google meet link for them to join um, to the meeting so I will be talking Google Calendar and Google Meet interchangeably because in Go High Level, uh, these two can is connected by the same in the same way. You will know what I mean when I get to it. So let's just get started. So there are two places where you can connect Google Meet or Google Calendar. The first one or the fastest one is within Settings, and go to Integrations here. All right. And the second one is under calendars, calendar settings, connections, and make sure you select um, which uh, person this calendar is for, video conferencing, add new, which goes to the same way if you go here at calendar, but let's just go video conferencing, add new, and then you can see here Google Calendar. So it doesn't say Google Meet here because, you know, Google um, Apps falls in the same account so if you connect your google calendar it will automatically also create meeting links in the process so if you go and click or connect you will just land in the same place in the beginning where you go to settings then integrations so let's go and integrate my google account so it asks you to sign in with google so please be guided that this not only connect your Google Calendar or, or anything, but it also connects a few things like Google Analytics and Google My Business and your Google AdWords to name a few. It will also connect to your Go High Level account. So that's, uh, that's kind of the default permissions that they will need. And you can actually just connect several calendars in the process, but in this way you will connect a few things or Google Apps with your, your Go High Level. So you can learn more about this connection here by clicking on this info icon, but I'm just going to go and hit allow here. So let's just wait a bit for it to integrate. Okay, so here is what I'm talking about. So it asks what Google My Business um, it is uh, you want to connect. So I'm just going to skip this because I don't want to connect my Google My Business here uh, and just hit connect. But if you want to take advantage of the reputation management within Go High Level, then you can connect it here. And this is where you can also um, collect. So if someone messages your Google My Business listing account, um, listing, it will also populate in the conversation tab within Go High Level so that you won't miss um, you won't miss a message so it's actually a required thing so I it forced me to select a Google my business account but if you don't have a Google my business account within that Google account it won't um, require you so here's where you can select an analytics account and your AdWords account to connect with go high level so that you can see your AdWords um, reporting here in go high levels but I won't talk about that Let's go ahead and set up your calendars with Google uh, Meet. So just go back to calendars, then calendar settings, then connections, because there, there are a few things that we need to um, configure. So as you can see here, I can see my Google Calendar is already connected with Go High Level, but I need to select which calendar I want to sync with Go High Level. So if you have a few calendars within your Google account, you can select which one you want to connect. But I'm just going to select my personal one, say, because I don't have any other calendars within Go, my Google account. And you can see here, um, there's another option here where it, it asks you how conflict um, bookings will be handled or the sync will be handled. So if I click on edit, so you can see here um, my other calendars so that it will check, um, you know, um, conflicting calendars or if someone already booked in my other calendar it will block that time slot for that particular um, time time contact so no one can book that and in other 
view, you will be asked here if it's a one-way sync or a two-way sync. So if it's a one-way sync, it will um, it will integrate or push bookings from Google Calendar into Go High Level. It's a one-way sync, so you cannot push bookings in Go High Level to um, Google Meet if it is a one-way sync. But if it's a two-way sync, you know it sync. It checks each other if there's conflicting appointments within your calendars. So I'm pretty much done. All we need to do is just set the location for the, your calendar. So for example, if I go to my calendars now, so if I created one like for a product demo, I'm just going to click on edit here. And if here at meeting details, scroll down a bit. And you can see here that you need to set up that calendar or what connection will it be. So I'm going to select the meeting location to Google Meet here. So I'm just waiting for it to save and go to meeting details and I'm going to set, the, set this to Google Meet and then save. Alright, and that's perfect. So another thing you need to keep in mind is the notification and additional options. So make sure that you just enabled email email so that your recipient or the one who booked in within your calendar receive the booking link and all those stuff. So make sure you enable that. You can even personalize it or customize the email. So if you want to customize that further, you can do that as well. So you can enable it to contact to the assigned user and some additional emails. So there's a few emails that you can configure here. So there are a few settings here as well. So I'm just going to do the default and just make it email email so that my leads will be able to receive the Google Meet email notification. I'm just going to close this and let's test it now. So I'm going to get the meeting link here. So ideally you need to create a landing page and embed your calendar so that it will you can control um, how it looks. So let's just go to this product demo calendar that I've created. So this is the most basic appearance so you can even configure and customize it um, within Go Eleven. So I'm just going to select some something here and well, and my email. So you can contact me for any Go Eleven. So additional information. I confirm that I want to receive content. So if you need additional fields here, you can also configure that. But uh, I'm not going to discuss that here. So let's just go and schedule a meeting here. Let's wait for it to load. And as you can see, it created or it automatically created a meeting link for that particular person. And, and me, in this case, the one who booked will also receive an email about the meeting or the, the appointment that I've created. So if I go back to go high level and go to my calendars here, you can see the appointment now. So you can see, I think this was it. So you can see it also sync my, some of my appointments here. Let's just find that one. Okay, let's just check this real quick. All right, this was it. So you can see it's already booked and I've go back to my Google Calendar, I will also see the same appointment. And that's it. So that's how you can connect your Google Calendar and send Google Meet links to um, to those who book within your Go High, go high Level calendars. And hope that helps you. And anyway, I hope you have a great day and thank you and bye-bye.